Good morning, Grade Six. How are you all? Happy New Year to all of you. Hope uh, you had a nice holiday, and at the same time, hope uh, you would have been revising at least for uh, a few hours uh, a day, and uh, getting uh, prepared for your uh, end of semester exams. So, uh, this is a math uh, revision which I had already sent you. But uh, today I'm sending you a PowerPoint um, uh, and a recorded uh, lesson of all the important concepts uh, which we have done uh, for your end of semester exams. So in, in this uh, part one, I have uh, included questions from chapter one and chapter two. So chapter one is about whole numbers and decimals. So one of the important concepts we learned in uh, chapter one is prime factorization. How to factorize a number using prime numbers. So the number given is 54. So uh, since uh, 54 is an even number, you know two is a uh, factor of uh, all the even numbers. So you will start with two. So two times 27 is 54. So circle two and keep so that you can include it, it you include the number when you write uh, the prime factorization in the end as a product of uh, prime numbers. Then you get 27 and 27 uh, is not an even number. So you will, you know that three times nine is 27. So three is again another uh, prime number, which is a factor. Then uh, you will again uh, find nine uh, you will factorize 9, you will get 3 times 3. So when you write it as a product of uh, prime numbers, the answer will be 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. The prime factorization of 54. Now, this question can be asked in another way where uh, you are given the product of a few of the prime numbers and uh, you will be uh, getting some missing numbers and you're asked to find the missing number. For example, in this question, Ivan, Ivan left out one prime factor when he wrote the prime factorization for 189. So what is the unknown prime factor? So you will uh, do the prime factorization for 189. You know two is uh, not a factor of 189. So you will start with three. Three times 63, uh, you found the first uh, two factors. Circle the three and keep. Then again, 63, when you factorize, you get, got three times 21. And again, 21, when you factorize, you will get three times seven. So the, when you write it as a product of five prime numbers, it is three times three times three times seven or the unknown number is seven. Now, the next question, Mr. Gaines ordered 1,320 pencils for the beginning of the school year. He's going to divide the pencils into five equal groups to give to each grade level. How many pencils will each grade level receive? So uh, you know that uh, the operation you have to do is a division. So you have to divide 1320 by five. You can do long or short division and the answer you will get is 264. Hope you know the long division. Practice a few more uh, long division questions so that you will be thorough with the process. Now the next one. Tony earns $13.50 each hour. He helps his dad clean pools. He helped his dad clean pools for 4.5 hours over the weekend. How much did Tony make cleaning pools over the weekend? Uh, so you know the operation here you have to do is uh, multiplication of decimal numbers. So for one hour, uh, he's earning $13.50. So he uh, works for 4.5 hours. So how much did he earn? So 13.50 times 4.5. So as you know, it is a multiplication of decimal numbers. So you can take the both the numbers as whole number 1350 and 45. But in the side you write the number of decimal places you have to move in the 
Answer. 13.50 has two decimal place. So write two there. 4.5 has one decimal place. So write one there and then multiply. So when you multiply, you will get 13.50 uh, or 1350 times five, you will get 6750. Then you have to multiply with four tens. So you add a zero first under the first digit. Then 13.50 times four, you get 5400. Zero, zero. Then you will add both the rows. You got 60750. Zero, zero. And you know in the answer, you have to move three decimal places from the right. So one, two, three. So the answer is 16.75. So Tony will make dollar 16.75 cleaning pools for 4.5 hours. Now, the next is again a problem solving question. Uh, for it is given in the form of a chart, but and there will be a, way, a workspace for you to do the working. And all of them involves division of decimal number with the whole number. So it's very easy for you. So you can do the working and write the answer. So four friends went shopping at a music store. The table shows the number of CDs each friend bought and the total cost. Complete the table to show the average cost of the CDs each friend bought. What is the average cost of all the CDs that the four friends bought and show your work? So Lana bought four CDs and she spent 36.68. So the average cost of the CD will be 36.68 divided by four. So you got $9.17. Same way, Troy purchased five CDs at 40.55. So the average cost will be 40.55 divided by five and you will get 8.11. Juanita, again, five CDs she purchased at 47.15. So 47.15 divided by five, you got $9.43. And Alex bought six CDs for 54.42. So 54.42 divided by six, you got 9.07. So this is the average cost of each person's uh, purchase. Now, Average cost of all the CDs uh, that is asked. So what you will do is you will find the total cost or total money spent by all four of them. 36.68 plus 40.55 plus 47.15 plus 54.42. The answer will be 178.80. And the total number of CDs purchased will be 4 plus 5 plus 5 plus 6. It will be 20. So 178.80 divided by 20, the average cost of all the CDs will be $8.94. So you need to practice a lot of division, decimal as well as whole number division problems. Now the next one is, Juan, the distance around the outside of Seda Park is 0 0.8 mile. Joni ran 0.25 of the distance during her lunch break. How far did she run? So she ran 0.25 of 0.8 miles. So you will do 0.25 times 0.8. And you know 25 times 8 is 200. As I told you, two decimal place here, one decimal place here. So in the answer, you will move three decimal places from the right. So the answer will be 0 0.200 or 0 0.2 mile. Now, the next question, you can buy five t-shirts at Baxter's for the same price that you can buy four t-shirts at Bixby's. If one t-shirt costs 11.80 at Bixby's, how much does one t-shirt cost at Baxter's? Use numbers and words to explain your answer. So, uh, what they are telling you is uh, in uh, Bixby's, whatever he paid for four t-shirts uh, is the same as the amount he'll be paying for five t-shirts at Baxter. So what you have to find first is total cost for four t-shirts at Bixby's. That is 11.80 times four, you got 47.20. 
that is the cost he paid for five t-shirt at baxters so how will you find the cost of one t-shirt at baxter 47.20 divide by 5 the answer will be dollar 9.44 so obviously it is uh, less so uh, again practice a lot of uh, decimal division cost of one t-shirt at baxters is 9.44 dollar now this is again decimal uh, division the table shows the earnings and the number of hours worked for four employees complete the table by finding the missing values so there are four employees the first uh, column shows total money earned in dollars and earnings per hour in dollar so you are asked to find the number of hours worked the red ones are the missing uh, values which we have to find Uh, by dividing and fill the table so the first one uh, you have to find the number of hours worked so he his earning per hour is 9.50 and he earned 23.75 so 23.75 divided by 9.50 the answer is 2.5 that means he worked 2.5 hours in the second one the second employee the total money earned and the number of hours worked is given you are asked to find the earnings per hour so again the same way 28.38 divide by 3.3 you will get dollar 8.60 and the third employee you are asked to find the number of hours worked you are given the total money earned and the earnings per hour So thirty-eight point five zero divided by thirty-eight point seven five, and the answer is four point four hours. And the fourth employee, fifty-five dollars, uh, and earnings per hour is ten dollar. So fifty-five divided by, sorry, uh, five. He worked uh, five point five hours. So fifty-five divided by five point five, the amount or earnings per hour is dollar ten. so a lot of decimal division and multiplications uh, uh, are there uh, so you have to be thorough with all the division and multiplication operations now select true or false for each equation you have to work it out 1.7 plus 4.03 equals 6 so is it true or false so remember when you add or subtract the decimal number the alignment of the decimal point is very important so here only one decimal point and here you have decimal num place and here you have two so you can write this as 1.70 plus 4.03 is it 6 obviously not so false second one you can write it as 2.58 plus 3.50 and the answer is 6.08 it which is true and third one 3.21 minus 0.98 2.23 which is true and the last one 14 you can write it as 14.0 minus 1.3 and 0. 01 which is obviously false now chapter 2 you have fractions so in the fractions you have again you are to learn uh, the addition subtraction multiplication and division of fractions the first question which i have given you is sophie has 3/4 quarter of lemonade if she divides the lemonade into glasses that hold 1/16th quart how many glasses can sophie fill show your work so what you will do is 3/4 divide by 1/16 so whenever i have told you whenever the division comes the first fraction remains the same but you will put change the division sign into multiplication sign and take the reciprocal or you will invert the second fraction which is 16 over 1 then you will simplify 4 divide by 4 is 1 and 16 divided by 4 is 4 so the answer will be 3 times 4 12 out of 1 which is 12 glasses 
Question number two. Brad and Wes are building a tree house. They cut a 12 hour half foot piece of wood into five of the same length pieces. How long is each piece of wood? Show your work. Again, this is also a division problem. You will 12 and a half divide by five. You know, 12 and a half is a mixed number. So you will change it into a improper fraction. So 12 times two, 24 plus one. 25 out of 2 divide by 5 out of 1. Then again, as I told you before, whenever there is a division comes, the first fraction will remain the same, 25 out of 2. Then you will put multiplication times, invert the second fraction or you will use the reciprocal. 5 out of 1 will become 1 out of 5. Then you will simplify. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 5. So the answer will be five out of two, which will be two and a half. Change it into a mixed number, which is two and a half feet. Now, ink cartridges weigh one eighth pound. The total weight of the cartridges in a box is, box is four and a half pound. How many cartridges does the box contain? Show your work and explain why you chose the operation you did. So again, you will do division four and a half divided by one eighth. So four and a half, change it into an improper fraction. It becomes four times two, eight plus one, nine out of two, divide by one eighth. So nine out of two times eight out of one. You can simplify two and eight. Two divide by two is one, eight divide by two is four. So nine times four, 36 cartridges. Now the second, uh, the next question is divide and show your work. Seven eighth divide by three fifth. Again, you will use the reciprocal, 7 8 times 5 third. So 35, nothing can be simplified here. So you will do 35 divided by 24, which is an improper fraction. So you, when you change it into a mixed number, you will get 1 and 11 out of 24. The next one also, uh, division of mixed number, 2 1 tenth divided by 1 1 fifth. So 2 1 tenth, you will change it as in improper fraction 2 times 20 plus 1, 21 tenth, divide by 5 plus 1, 6 fifth, or 21 tenth times reciprocal, 5 out of 6. You can simplify 5 and 10 using 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So you got 21 out of 12, which is 1 and 9 twelfth. When you simplify or divide with 3, you will get one and three fourth. Now, choose yes or no to indicate whether the statement is correct. So you have been given a number line and it is divided into uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1.0. And if questions are asked, you are supposed to write if the, uh, the statement is yes or no. Point A represents 1.0. Is it correct? No. It is 0 0.1. Point B represents 3 tenth. Is it correct? Yes. Because it is 3 tenth or 0 0.3. Now point C represents 6.5. Is it correct? No. Point C is 0 0.7 or 7 tenth. And point D represents four fifth. It's correct because four fifth is eight tenth or 0 0.8. So you have to analyze the number line and then you have to uh, state whether the statement is correct or no. Then the last question, Eric bought a total of 12 16th pound of plywood nails and frame nails the weight of the frame nails is three-fourth of the total weight. What is the weight of the frame nails? So three-fourth of 12 sixteenth. So you will write three-fourth times 12 sixteenth. You can simplify four and 12. Four divided by four is one. 12 divided by four is three. The answer will be three times three, nine out of 16, which you cannot simplify further. So the answer is C, nine out of 16 pound. Uh, students, hope you understood uh, the, all the concepts uh, well. So go over the PPT and also 
uh, all the work done in your chapter one and chapter two and prepare well for your exam. Then I'll come up with the, another uh, recorded lesson, which will be your PowerPoint part two and all the best for your exams. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.